सूर्याय नम ओं सौ सुमाय नम ओं कुं कुजाय नम ओं बुं बुधाय नम ओं गुं गुरव नम ओं शुं शुक्राय नम ओं शं शनाश्वराय नम ओं राम राहव नम ओं कें केतव नम ओ जपाकुसुमसाशम काशपेय महाज्योति तमोरी सर्वपापन प्रणतस्मी दिवाक दधी शंख तुषाराभम क्षीरो दाणव संभव नमा शशिना सोम शंभोर्मकूषण धरणी गर्भ संभूत विद्युत्कंति सभम कुमार शक्ति हस्त तम मंगल प्रणमा हम प्रियांगु काली का श्याम रूपेण प्रतिमं बुधम सौम्यम सौम्य गुणो बुधम प्रणमा हम दिवना चिषिना चुरु कंचन सन्नीभम उदिभूत त्रिलोकेशम तम नमा बृहस्पति हिमकुंद मृणालभम दायत्या परम गुरु सर्वशास्त्र प्रवक्ता भार्गव प्रणमाम्यहम नीलांजन सभासम रविपुत्र यमाग्रज छायामर्तंड संभूत तम नमा शनाश्वर अर्धकाय महावीर चंद्रादीत विमर्दनम सिंहिकागर्भ संभूत तम राहुम प्रणमाम्यहम पलाशपुष्पाशम तारकाग्रहमस्तक रौद्रम रौद्रत्मकोर तम के प्रणमाम्यहम ओ शि 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 ओ नाउ मिस मिस्टर डि काप्रिय born in a moon period okay and general information about caprio early uh, breakthrough rahu period okay up to 2000 here from 91 to 96 but um also this is still titanic there uh, rahu finished in 2000 and 2000 here but 2001 can still consider a uh, transition and what made uh, Leonardo DiCaprio so famous look he's a famous guy he's a kind of cinnamon cinnamon uh synonym now it worked as beauty or as a uh, uh, the perfect or the the prince and so okay before him i think it was brad pitt or tom cruise and so but he took out the crown of brad pitt and tom cruise i believe and after that is jupiter period and jupiter period ends in 2016 here from in the jupiter period he was kind of having fun with other people <laughs> he was saying look let's do this let's do that and when he entered the rahu the shani the saturn period that his fifth period he was much more prone to go for environmental causes and his organization and so my uh, sister my wife works for the capro <laughs> i mean she is related to environmental causes and so So we can say that although Leonardo DiCaprio in his third karmic period was Jack, now in his fifth karmic period he is much more prone to be kind of serving the world. He can be earning millions, doesn't matter. He can be winning Oscars, doesn't matter. But that's an important point. If in the third karmic period the person already attains a kind of a material establishment. that's an important affirmation in his fifth or her fifth karmic period we should aspire 
for a higher benefit of mankind, womankind, mankind, uh, earth kind, or whatever. Okay? If the person in his or her fifth karmic period is still not established as an economical uh, point or um, stability, we can accept that his or her fifth karmic period is not so altruistic. It's more, in a way, egoistic, and it's fine. Okay? But in the previous session, we, we spoke this phrase. What if I die tomorrow, will at least have accomplished that? Do you remember that sentence? Yes. So that sentence, it's true. But if the person in the third karmic period, it doesn't matter, it's, it's check. Okay. But if already has the apartment and already can pay the bills and the bills are not a struggling point, in fifth karmic period, should ask the person. What do you aspire to contribute with the world? This is actually the road of the karma mahadasha, the fifth karmic period. I'm not saying that you cannot do this on the third, but it's not actually a first line consideration. In the fifth, if the precondition of the third is fulfilled, we should put this as a first line concern. In the, fifth karmic, in the fifth karmic era, we have the, the dream or the aspiration to contribute with a higher cause. In Leonardo DiCaprio's case, with environmental cause. It can be any cause. It can be a nationalistic cause. It can be a lot of different types. Okay? So this is where are we? Mars-related nakshatra. Now we are coming into... Bush. Hello. Hello.